This is Star Talk. Now, this one is really for Neil, uh, Mary. Uh, and I'm reading it, Neil, because I'm not sure what this guy's talking about. Okay. Okay. Uh, and this is from Nick Sazfransky. Sazfransky. Do you think that's right? Sazfransky, right? Saz. Zafransky. Zafransky. Look, if you start Zafransky. pronouncing names correctly, then we won't know what to do with you. you pronounce it however you want, and that's your thing now. And that's my thing. I don't. Could be Zafransky. I don't yeah. know. Zafransky, right? Zafransky. 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 Okay, here we go. I don't know. Um, uh, this is what he says. I'm a young sci-fi uh, uh, writer and fantasy. I'm currently working on a hard science fiction book. My question is, how much do we understand? Here's the thing, Neil. Exotic particles. What, if any, effect they do have on the human body? Um, and, and then he says, if you could put a blurb about my book, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, so uh, I don't think I'm going to do the blurb about the book. but Well, I think I have a way to, to link this back to Mary. But we, we have the portfolio of particles that exist, that right. have been measured. They right. have names, they have masses, they have you know, energies in different states and this sort of thing and half-lives. And so some particles just go straight through you, like neutrinos. Right. Billions go through you every square centimeter every second from the sun and they do nothing to us they don't interact what matters is if they interact with you that's the difference okay and if they interact they could do damage and so so this is a so if you want to weaponize a particle you would make some kind of device that you know contains particles that will interact with your body in some way, mm. mess with your DNA, mm. mess with your skin, mess with whatever, and then that becomes a weaponized ray gun, basically. So you make the particles a delivery system for some type of debilitation. Correct, correct. Now we do this for for electromagnetic energy. So there's a uh, there's a movable microwave device, which is an it's a non-lethal anti-personnel weapon. Right. It's non-lethal. So if there's a crowd of people, you drive up this truck, you aim this antenna at the people, and it's like you just put them all in a microwave oven. Now, do you first get them to hold a burrito? <laughs> so they can eat it on the way. So, and you've got to take the wrapper off. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So, so what happens is their skin starts feeling hot, and they, and they want to go out of the beam. So they scatter. They scatter. They right. scatter. So right. this is how you can decentralize what might be a mob that, that's, that's coming. Um, is there any discussion in the military about... Um, weapons, the effect of weapons on people that are not just guns, the, your traditional? Well, there was, uh, not in this book, but one of my previous books, there was uh, Infrasound. I don't mm. know which book this was even about. They were, there was this... She's got so many books, she don't I remember which book remember. that was in that she wrote. That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's badass, actually. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty badass. <laughs> that's, like, in some book that I wrote somewhere, I, I, I believe I said... <laughs> so what you can all, you all do is like buy them all. You buy them all, lay them out, she's the point to it. And you let, oh, me, you you let me know. That's it, you buy them all. Exactly. All right. So yeah, in, but Infrasound, there was this talk about that, they, that the military was looking for a uh, uh, non-lethal weapon, I think it was. Supposedly, it would... Uh, inf oh, no, it's, yeah, it's, it's infrasound, and you know, it was like long, slow wave. Low frequency low waves. Low frequency, and that it would, you, it would res have the same resonant frequency as some of the internal organs. So you, it would create fear, nausea, uh, uh, terror, uh, uh, but yeah, it never... This is like in, in, in never, Jurassic never Park. It never went anywhere. T-Rex. Yeah. Like the, the, the liquid right. in the... Yeah. <laughs> Right, and you yeah. see the uh, the vibration in the right. liquid in the glass. <laughs> right, 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 right. That type of deal. Yeah, like they yeah. were going to like they would launch a ball of infrared. Mm -hmm. But anyway, I could never find it. Be enough. There'd be T Rex. Would be one of the settings. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. By the way, the military doesn't have to look for that. We already have it. It's called One Direction. Yeah. <laughs> They're a boy band. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, there was some concern about uh, uh, NASA had concerns about because the, the engines were putting in a launch, they would be putting out tremendous amounts of infrasound, and they were afraid they were going to deliver jelly to the moon. That it would even it was so, that intense. But I think as it turned out, it wasn't. But in fact, they do have what they call a sound abatement system, and before every launch, in the seconds before they ignite the engine, you see this basically a swimming pool's worth of water dumped onto Whoa. the launch pad. 
and the water absorbs the acoustic Sound reverberations. Waves. That's right. Uh, they were worried that the acoustic reverberations would just completely tear apart yeah. the entire bottom half of the rocket. Right, like the the, the, the singer with the glass breaking shadow. Yeah, exactly, yes. Yeah. Except now, so what they do is they put in the water. That absorbs the energy, right. and that way the energy doesn't hit the rocket again. So next time, watch very closely every single launch. And they're big tanks yeah. surrounding launch pads. They're water tanks. Bada bing! And then the vibrations hit, it vaporizes the water. So some of the smoke you see coming out is is steam, basically. That's cool. Vaporized by the energy, the acoustic energy of vibration. Amazing. That's amazing. amazing. Give me one more question. Amazing. By the way, uh, that is the exact um, sound that it makes when the water is dumped. Bada bing! Bada bing! <laughs> awesome. <laughs>